AM 740. Not sure where that is. But this loop can pick it up just fine. Let's look for a null. Got down to minus 53 dBm or so. And broadside, we can pick it up to minus 43. So it's a 10 dB swing. I would have expected a little bit more, but I am in a basement and it seems to be functioning. Now, let's examine the range of this loop. I designed it specifically to cover the entire AM band without switching in additional capacitance. So I'm gonna knock it down a little bit. Yes, if I touch it, I change the capacitance, so I have to be careful. I need to get a good knob for it. Let's knock it all the way down to below the AM band. And let's lock our receiver down to uh, 550 or so. That should be low enough, I think. I'm not exactly sure where it begins now it is, but it's 550. We can go way below it. No problem. Pretty narrow bandwidth. I use 26 gauge wire, which is probably a little too thick. Doesn't have enough resistance to lower the Q, but it works. Now I can't really decode much with it, but the signal's there. We'll go ahead and cruise on up the band here. See what other strong signal we can pull in. Let's look for AM630, which is a local station. It used to be the famous WMAL, now it's just a lowly sports station. Kind of sad. Right, turn it. Yeah, I think it was there. Was there better earlier? I guess they knocked the power down. Hmm. I would have expected that to null it. See if I can know it for real here. Could very well be a a clear channel has come in in its place. All right, fine. Let's go to New York City here. Let's go to 700. WLW is it? Let's see. Get that broadside to New York. And let's tune it up. I think that's it. Okay. Let's just keep on going up here. Let's see, what was... Is 1100 Ohio? Let's see if we can get that high. Let's figure out what this is. Oh, that's pretty noisy. Let's try 1100. Yep, that's coming in nicely. I think it's Cleveland, but I'm not sure. But we're doing very well. Let's just keep on going. Let's go to uh, 1420, which is the local station that's on low power right now. There's Dolly. Okay. All within the same range, let's keep going. Let's go on up to Let's see, Culpepper has one at 19, 1490, that's it. Here the touch of the, uh, the knob is a whole lot more sensitive. 
as we lower the capacitance, the capacitance of the hand has more of an effect. So I'm looking forward to getting the insulated knob for this. Yep, that's it. That's that station. Classic rock or something like that. Let's keep going. Let's go on up to the top of the band. 1690 here. This is the evening. So these are long distance stations. And you see how sensitive it is to touch. That is a drawback. But it works. Let's see if we can null it. Yep, we can null it when it's pointing roughly north south. The axis of the uh, null. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people make loops out there that require switching in capacitance to get the range that we see here with one capacitor specially made uh, from a company in the description. And it's got larger, lower capacitance range than, than um, some previous ones, but um, it really does a good job of, with this particular loop design with about 25 turns, it covers the entire AM band with one antenna, no additional capacitance required. We look over here, you can see it's just the capacitor and a coil, and then of course a, a pickup. Real simple, real cool.